Hello there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech Talks with J Square. I am your host, Jetta Jones. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new content. Like this video and leave me a comment after watching. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. So today I have an exciting topic for our mini lesson. I know many of you have heard of artificial intelligence, especially with the popularity of chat GPT. However, did you know that AI and machine learning is significantly reshaping the field of information technology in so many ways, including storage area networks and other enterprise data storage solutions. So for example, gone are the days of reactive maintenance. AI equips SANS with predictive capabilities, foreseeing potential issues or failures by analyzing vast amounts of data. Now, this is a much more proactive approach that ensures downtime is minimized, it improves reliability and high availability. Automation is also the name of the game. AI enables SANS to automate routine tasks from tiering data based on usage patterns by making sure storage is allocated on demand as workloads change. So. We're going to break it all down in this lesson. So let's get started, tech enthusiasts. Okay, so I want to recap what is a storage area network or a SAN for short. So if you want to learn more about SAN technology, make sure you check out my previous videos where I go into storage area networks in more detail. So very quickly, a SAN is simply a specialized high-speed dedicated network that allows multiple servers to access a shared pool of storage resources. And some of the most common storage devices found on a SAN include disk arrays or commonly referred to as storage arrays. And disk arrays are physical hard drives that are organized in a chassis as a single unit. So these disk arrays are designed to provide more efficient use of storage capacity because the multiple drives provide a single pool of storage that can be allocated, deallocated, and reallocated to any server that is part of the storage area network. These disk arrays also allow better storage performance, scalability, and data protection and redundancy for mission critical workloads. And the second most common storage resources include tape libraries or tape drives. So just wanted to do a quick recap of what is a storage area network. Again, if you want to learn more about this technology, make sure you check out my previous video. So we want to talk about the key roles of AI in storage area networks. Well, it's just not SANS, but AI is playing a critical role in all enterprise storage solutions, include network attached storage and object storage. And AI is really being used in so many different ways to improve uh, IT efficiencies across different aspects of the infrastructure operations and data management because AI can analyze vast amounts of data. And of course, like I said, it's playing a significant role in SANS or enterprise storage solutions uh, by contributing to various aspects of storage management, optimization, and this is a big one, security. So there are so many use cases for artificial intelligence. And as the technology evolve, we'll see, you know, far many more use cases. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. So let's get started. The first we're going to talk about performance optimiz optimization. Well, storage area networks is rock solid technology. I supported SANS for 
about 16 years and they perform very well, really good for mission critical workloads. But of course, you know, technology advanced and, um, you know, can always use improvement. So this is what we're talking about. How is AI improving storage area network technology? So performance optim optimization. So AI can dynamically optimize SAN performance by looking at and analyzing data access patterns, you know, looking at um, how stored resources are being used and making changes accordingly. And then uh, machine learning algorithms can identify bottlenecks and suggest optimizations and tweaks to ensure, you know, data transfer is very efficient. So, you know, uh, it's again, it's all about looking at different data points and making intelligent decision very agile. And it's almost impossible for humans to be that agile. And remember, especially enterprise environments are so vast. Most organizations, you know, will have uh, one site, one main site, and then they may have several remote sites. And all of those sites, if they're using storage area networks, they are kind of siloed and they may be using different enterprise storage solutions. And remember, I talked about a lot of these solutions are not competing, but they're complementary, meaning an organization may have SANS implemented. They may have NAS. They may be using object storage as well. So think about all of these different data points. So it's almost impossible for a human to effectively manage all of that, all of these different environments, all of this amounts of data. So AI can be a very good aid. So let's look at predictive analytics. And this is a big one, you know, looking at historical data and patterns to predict future storage requirements. And the storage requirements may be, you know, capacity planning. And that's a big one because, you know, organizations want to predict their storage growth for budgetary reasons. And then, you you know, some organizations like to know which department is utilizing the most data. Some companies do charge back. Some IT departments charge back. So if AI, I'm sorry, if accounting is using most of the storage capacity, guess what? The IT director can charge back and this will help them use the storage that they have been allocated more efficiently if they know that they're going to have to uh, pay for it. So again, around predictive analytics, AI, you know, can analyze historical performance data and predict potential hardware problems, you know, or failures in other SAN components. You know, you have a lot of components, you have the cables, the you have fiber channel switches, you have HBA adapter cards, and then you have the storage array itself or the tape library. So there are a lot of different components that make up a storage area network and all of them are prone to failure. Now it has a lot of redundancy built into it, but still, you know, they can fail. But if you can predict failures before they actually happen, that is the best way to go. And then, you know, being proactive with maintenance also reduces downtime and also improves system reliability. Again, proactive versus reactive, because I'd much rather be proactive than have to deal with an outage and you're in a very reactive state at that point. And number three, automated intelligent data placement. It goes back to storage optimization. And there's a lot of things that fall under that umbrella. And one of them is tiering, you know, making sure the right data is on the right type of storage or the right type of hard drive, because disk arrays can contain traditional hard drives, which are slower spinning disks, really good for infrequently access workloads. And then uh, for your mission critical data, 
that's really good to place that on solid state drives because those are high performance, low latency drives. So AI can go out there and make sure data is classified properly. It can analyze usage patterns. You know, maybe there's some data sitting on expensive SSD disk that has not been used in years. AI can go out there and move that data to slower performing disks. So you're freeing up you know, that fast disk for your mission critical workloads. So number four, automated provisioning and management. So AI can analyze workload patterns to automatically scale and allocate resources. And this is great. You know, I know storage admin was like, well, wow, I don't want, you know, uh, AI to do automated provisioning and management because a lot of what storage admins do is provisioning storage out of that single pool of storage to servers on the SAN. But uh, if you can automate some of that, that's going to save you so much time. And remember, I talked about it. AI may retire some jobs or job duties but there are also going to be other opportunities because the automation still needs to be set up and managed to some extent. But if you can automate provisioning of storage to servers in the environment, that's going to save time. And it's also going to, um, you know, free up resources to do other things in the environment. So number five, uh, anomaly detection and security. And this is a big one because AI is playing such a critical role in cyber security. And I, I'm going to do a future lesson very soon on cyber security and cyber resiliency because that topic is so important. I want to cover that on its own. But AI can analyze patterns and detect anomalies in data access, you know, sometimes there may be a performance issue or what appears to be a performance issue on the network or in the SAN, but that can also uh, be an indication of a cyber attack. So it may not always be a problem with the underlying infrastructure, meaning that it may not be a problem with the hardware, but it could also be an indication that the company has been Breach. So AI can help identify potential security threats or unauthorized access to sensitive data within the SAN. It can also monitor user and application behavior. And this is a big one to help identify unusual patterns that may also indicate security breaches or abnormal activity. So AI is being incorporated within storage or disk arrays is also being incorporated incorporated in security cybersecurity software again i'm going to do a future lecture about that topic very very soon and then we have data management and efficiencies well it's back to that storage optimization you know identifying duplicate data out there on your SAN, this is huge because, you know, you can have 12, 13, 14 copies of the same file that's taken up, you know, valuable disk space and disk for that goes in a SAN can be very costly. Fiber channel hard drives can range from, you know, a few thousand up to five or seven thousand dollars. So they are not cheap. So you want to make sure you're using your storage capacity uh, very efficient, you know, or as efficient as possible. And then compression, that's a big one. So deduplication and compression are two really good ways to optimize your storage capacity and compress it. compression. It does what it does. It compresses the data to reduce the overall storage footprint while maintaining data integrity. So storage capacity is a big one. You know, IT directors, storage admins always want to keep their pulse on how much storage space they are using. 
and how much storage space they're going to need in the future. Because if, you know, a critical application needs to be rolled out or, you know, your server needs more storage space and you don't have that available, and uh, that can be a big deal because it can cause data to become unavailable if a server runs out of space or it can hold up critical projects or, you know, if the application needs more storage space, it can uh, cause a lot of havoc in the environment. So storage capacity is a huge one. And there's also a lot of really good monitoring software provided by a lot of vendors today uh, that is incorporating AI. And you can actually do a lot of this management from a single pane of glass. You can look at the performance of your SAN. You can uh, look at components, you know, are there any hardware issues in my environment? Are there any bottlenecks? And this software can also detect, you know, security breaches or abnormal behavior. So you're seeing AI being incorporated in a lot of management and monitoring storage area network software. So I hope you enjoyed this lecture and uh I'm I'm really, really excited to see where artificial intelligence is going to take us. Again, it's not just SANS, it's, but it's NAS, it's object storage, it's cybersecurity. You know, um, AI is being incorporated in just about every aspect of information technology. So I'm excited and I hope you are too.